Hi to all. Now we are discussing another very important inorganic topic that is electron transfer reactions. Okay, and we can we can call electron transfer reaction reactions as oxidation reduction reactions because oxidation reactions takes place in during the electron transfer from one complex to another complex. So and we can call them as a redox reactions also. Okay, whatever. And here. Uh, Electron transfer reactions are very important in metal complexes, and also the very important metallo enzymes. And in photosynthesis, the electron transfer reactions are uh, possible. Okay, so that's why they are very important. And also, as in the part of our uh, examination CSIR and uh, GATE, so if you if one see the previous year uh, papers, uh, we can uh, come across many problems on outer sphere and inner sphere mechanism. Uh, mechanisms okay so that's why they, these are very important so if one have um, if one have the comment on these points so which are written on the paper so he can solve the problems on outer sphere and inner sphere mechanisms with ease okay just uh, that's why please uh, note down these points and uh, keep you on it right so now we are discussing outer sphere electron transfer reaction so what is outer sphere electron transfer reaction so here we are saying outer sphere electron transfer reactions occurs through the tunneling mechanism okay so this is the first point of outer sphere mechanism so outer sphere electron transfer reactions occur through the tunneling mechanism right so what is outer sphere so why the name is given to them these electron transfer reactions because if you observe a metal complex and two metal complexes are there and electron transfer is taking uh, taking uh, between these two metal metals okay consider two metal complexes are there and in between electron transfer is taking place okay and we call it as outer sphere and how why so because and every metal uh, complex has its uh, coordination sphere right and if the electron from this coordination sphere of one complex if if it electron of this metal complex and if it uh, tunnels through this coordination sphere of metal complex by making a tunnel of uh, this coordination sphere and that electron through the medium that means uh, transferring medium and uh, that means media by which electron transfer is takes, taking place okay and this electron by the tunnel from the tunneling the tunneling through the uh, coordination sphere of metal complex and if it enters into the another metal complex so here what is happening this metal is getting oxidation and this metal is getting reduction so that's why we call these electron transfer reactions as redox reactions and also oxidation reduction reactions so here what happens so the electron transfer from a complex by tunneling the coordination sphere of one complex and it by by escaping from this uh, coordination sphere and enter into another coordination sphere of other metal okay that's why here we are calling the electron is coming out of the coordination coordination sphere of complexes so that's why we are call we can call these electron transfer reactions as outer sphere electron transfer reactions okay right now electron transfer with no change of coordination so in outer sphere make electron transfer reactions so during electron transfer the change there is no change of coordination that means uh, the number of coordination doesn't change okay that means if uh, initial complex it has six coordination and another metal uh, the another metal complex has six coordination number then in the product also they have same coordination numbers okay that means there is no change in coordination uh, sphere of the uh, metal complexes after the electron transfer okay and that point we should consider and next both metal complexes in a true substitution so in outer sphere mechanism another important uh, point we need to consider is uh, both the metal complexes must be inert to substitution okay so the both metals must be inert so already we discussed liability and inertness of the metal complexes so some of the points so to be the metal to uh, to metal metal to be as inert it should have some it depends on some factors for example the strong ligands okay and presence of the electrons in t2g 
okay and the charge on metal so the factors affect the livability and inertness of the molecule in uh, complexes okay so right so in this uh, point in outer sphere mechanism to happen this outer sphere electronic tra electron transfer between two metal complexes the both metal complexes must be uh, inert complexes okay so if you observe two inert complexes in the given reaction so that is simply the electron transfer taking place in the particular reaction is through the outer sphere electron transfer mechanism okay right and next one mostly metal ions are similar so in this uh, outer sphere mechanism we can see most of the metal reactions are uh, metal complex reactions through the same metal for example if we consider iron and iron so two iron complexes involves in uh, here as uh, outer sphere electron transfer reactions okay so if you find the uh, two metal uh, similar metals in the uh, reaction and uh, and little next one little change in metal ligand distances okay so in these two complexes there is chance of little change in metal ligand distances and that leads to the electron transfer from metal, uh, one metal complex to another metal complex okay and next electron to be transferred should be in t2g level so in this outer to obtain outer sphere electronic mechanism the electron to be transferred from one metal to another metal so that electron should be in t2g level of the particular uh, um, uh, metal complex which is going to uh, going to give electron okay right next strong ligand fields in less favor reduction so strong ligand fields means the pairing of electrons is takes place so that's why there is no chance of uh, another electron to add to it so that's why strong ligand fields favors less favor reduction of particular metal complexes and next ligands like conjugated and or p or pi bonding ligands are uh, familiar or favors the outer sphere mechanism okay the ligand should be pi bonding so continuity of pi bonding is there in a particular metal complexes the rate of iron, the rate of outer sphere mechanism is more for that particular complex if uh, if they have uh, in con uh, discontinuity in uh, uh, pi bonding okay delocalization then the rate of the outer sphere mechanism will be less for for, uh, for that particular complex okay so you should consider these points for outer sphere mechanism so here is another point on outer sphere mechanism uh, electron transfer reactions if the two metals are similar if the two metals are metal metals are similar to to have electron transfer through the outer sphere mechanism then the delta g that means the activation energy for the particular reaction is zero so you should consider this point please remember okay for these reactions are considered uh, called as self exchange reactions okay that means self exchange outer sphere reaction electron transfer reactions so if the two metal complexes are similar that means uh, metal complexes have same metal then those electron outer sphere electron transfer reactions are called as, called as self exchange electron transfer reactions and for that delta g that means the activation energy is zero because two metals are similar okay right and if uh, outer sphere mechanism that means electron transfer takes place between two different metals okay if two different metals if uh, this uh, electron transfer is takes place those reactions are called as cross